Hello guys, uh, today I would like to introduce you my small project that I built using the Arduino Uno R3 and the prototype shield with several different sensors and a display. So by not wasting any time I would like to go further. It is a very simple project consisting of the relay, a OLED screen 0.9 inch 96 inch, a DHT11 sensor, a buzzer, a light detecting uh, uh, resistor LDR and as well as there is the uh, there is the potentiometer here and another one here this one is for the ambience sensor there is an ambience sensor as well based on the LDR and also this, this uh, potentiometer is for the sensitivity of the LDR itself and now by not wasting any time I would like to go further so it is a very basic and simple system that can be charged by the normal 5 volt of the Adreno and I have here a power bank with the, the charge doctor USB charge doctor right now I'm gonna turn it on you can see the screen lights up and it immediately shows you all the sensor status now as you can see in the screen it's a very simple setup for this OLED screen which runs in the with the I squared C connection that is there's only four wires unlike all the other screens LCD screen where they have several wires here's only ground voltage plus SCL and SDA connection which goes to the ground 3.3 uh, volt A4 analog A4 and analog A5 respectively and also there's a lead which will turn up when the there is too much dark and uh, there the sensor this uh, sensor several sensors are there and here any of the sensor or any combination of the sensor can be used to turn on or off this relay which will in turn help you to turn on and off heavy loads like a fan or a refrigerator or anything like a lamp or alarm anything so here as you can see the OLED display is very clear I cannot show you exactly but it's quite clear for the 3.3 volt and I have also made a small graphics to show that the status of the relative humidity that's depending upon the temperature or the relative humidity the hollow or the or the solid circle will appear and your movement will change likely here you can see right now the temperature is 28 relative humidity is 66 voltage is 0 0.4 because it's quite bright here so if I close make it a dark condition for example I just put up my finger to increase the voltage it's very bright right now so maybe I have to do like this so you can see the voltage is start to increase you can see here the voltage start to increase and the ambience of the room is also changing so depending on the ambience the the amount of the ambience the room of the room the light will flicker you can see here the lead start to flicker okay and also in at a very dark condition the lead will light up and but sorry but it's very bright out here so I cannot show you this condition and one other thing about this system is that because it has uh, the it has a OLED, OLED screen so even though this system is running the power consumption is very low to show you that here in a complete system running condition you have the power consumption only here you have the power condition only 0 0.29 or 0 0.25 so in general it's around 0.25 watts so this whole system will run with only 0.25 watts so if you have a small power bank like this it, it can even run for several days without even charging again and this system will be very handy for those who just want to make a night light for example at the dark it will automatically control the lamp or you can put it into your, your soil near your soil condition where you can check for the relative humidity around the atmosphere or you can just make a combination of the temperature and the relative humidity or the temperature and the light ambience or any of the conditions to, con to, to, to turn on or off the relay 
and likely here the system still has digital pin 6 7 and uh, 6 7 and I, I guess there's a digital pin 2 as well 2 is still on as well as 9 so you can use another digital relay to put in this system and control other different uh, equipments based on the sensor readings the best thing about this is you can immediately see what is happening what is the output of your sensor with the small but yet very useful OLED display screen so that's it just a very simple and nice uh, project I guess thank you